Welcome. This is the Little Feet Radio Show. And uh, so glad you could join us today. We've got a few people coming in. I do have a couple of things planned for this evening. I actually had a nice talk with uh, Tony Leone yesterday. And uh, we'll have, I'll be able to share a little of that later today. So let's uh, get started with the first song.
Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. You all hear everything okay? Everything going good? People on Facebook, if you want to join the uh, live video stream, actually be part of the uh, show, there is a link that's on the Little Feet Radio Show webpage, and you're welcome to join us. And so glad you all could join us tonight. I did have the opportunity on Monday. I was in Nashville, and uh, a very familiar face was performing. And uh, I'm going to let you all have the first chance to see this video. It's uh, premiering tonight on the Little Feet Radio Show.
what I'm talking about. There you go, huh? That's something. I'm so looking forward to seeing Little Feet in uh, just a little bit, so, especially even after talking with Tony Leone. My goodness, he is, the credentials are amazing, and he's so looking forward to getting up there and jamming with Kenny. And you, he told us uh, that song that they, Little Feet recorded, Long Distance Love, he actually, what they call transcribed or notated Richie Hayward's part so he could play it exactly right. Oh, wow, gosh. that's the way to do it. <laughs> so let's see here. I've got a poll coming up because I couldn't decide which of these two songs to choose. So why don't we do that? For those of you that aren't on Facebook, once again, uh, you can join us on the Zoom and you'll be able to respond to the poll. So here it is. This is a song from the 70s, and I've given you two. All right. I think we have a winner, and I'm going to get that one going. Thank you so much. Still lights flicker as you pull up to the truck stop. Same old crowd was hanging out again tonight. Fill up my tank while I go check my load. It feels like it's shifting all around. So he went south. He was made. Yeah, but 
Oh my, so good. I'd be surprised if that one's on the buy request tour. What do you think? Say that again. The Fred might request it. Fred might request it. I love that song. Oh, oh my goodness. And then, of course, they just on Wednesday announced the uh, Waiting for Columbus show. So that probably tells me that they'll be working a lot on the Waiting for Columbus songs during the buy request tour, you think? I think most of those songs will be requested anyway. <laughs> Indeed. Good point. Well, let's see. I've got one here that uh, may be requested on the By Request Tour. It, I don't think it made it to Waiting for Columbus, but it's around that vintage. It's John Crow.
gonna rise And it sets for you Above the same sunrise It shines and sets on the four floor goodness it's already we're already halfway through the show at least halfway more than halfway thank you all for joining us tonight i know it's been tough covid protocols and all of those of you that are dealing with that and isolate still uh, i know i just got my booster shot i'm really glad about that i've been using i was up in new york i think it's great they have the uh nyc covid safe app that lets you show your uh your card and your uh, driver's license so you don't have to worry about well you have to carry the driver's license for other things but you don't have to carry your COVID card to go to a show which is nice and i suspect when we go to see little feet we'll see some of those protocols as well so live music it's coming back hooray and uh, so glad you're able to join us this saturday you got it too very good excellent uh, i got a poll coming up the next poll is Picking players. Which song? This is acoustic version. Well, mostly acoustic. I, I got to record this one with Little Feet at one point, and uh, when, they, when they originally did this song, it was nice and slow, kind of. A... And I also love the version that they played on behind Robert Palmer when he recorded this too. Catch ball fish every time I got a line. 
the cows ass, the pigs ass, the horses ass too. I wanna know what do the city do?
goodness that was quite a performance and just before the pandemic too february 29th and uh hopefully everybody was be getting through the pandemic getting your vaccine getting healthy and uh, getting out to some live shows looking forward to it it's approaching the end of our hour so sad barely get a chance to say hello to y'all and it's done and we're done any uh, comments for the good of our Little Feet fan community, before I put on our last song. It's it's my understanding that Little Feet will be in a bubble. Those of us who are used to unlimited access for the last 20 years no longer have that. And I, for one, am very disappointed. Well, I think Kenny said in a bubble, at least through the uh, feet camp. So that doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, waiting for Columbus are going to be in a bubble. No, I just mean for November, December, January. Yeah. And there's no merch table. I mean, there's a merch table, but we civilians cannot work it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no offense, but it's not like the good old days. Well, there's going to be changes for sure. And uh, uh, well, I'm going to see if somehow I can get into a sound check. There you go. But but to go to a little feed show and not be able to talk to the band and the crew. Uh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> when I did uh, the Nashville shows, they actually were one of the one of the add ons you could have for the tickets for the waiting for Columbus was the sound check experience. So that'll yeah. be interesting. See how that well, works. I'm just saying after 20 years of being spoiled rotten by being able to come and go as we pleased, it's a big change. And, and uh, I'm not happy about it. Well, I'm not yeah, it's a small about price to pay. It's yeah, a small price I'm to pay. There you go. I'm more excited about seeing the feet fans than I am about hearing the band. No, no offense. Yeah. Well, we need to set up some meet and greets ahead of time for sure. Tony and Scott are terrific additions to this band. No question about it. But everybody, I'm worried about Sam. How is he going to deal with this grueling schedule? He's not a young man. Well, it's a lot less grueling than it used to be back in the day. Well, I hope so. But you see, with, uh, with Dead & Company, Bill Kreutzman got sick. Yeah, I saw that. And Charlie Watts died, and I'm just, I they don't need know. To, they need to be careful and take care of themselves, and we need to well, be grateful that they're able to put on shows for us while they can. That's why the bubble. But yes, indeed. as I say, even if I don't buy tickets for the Asheville show, I'll still be there for the before and after with the fans. <laughs> Maybe I can wave to Billy when he gets on the bus. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to play one right now that is on Waiting for Columbus, and uh, it's from a little bit older. It ha actually has Richie on it.
night Except for the rain that froze on the ground Down the street I heard such a sorrow too Coming from the place they call the standing moon Did it feel good?
Thanks for watching. You're tuned into the uh, Little Feet Radio Show on uh, YouTube. It's Red Miller One's the channel. Also, Little Feet Radio Show is on Facebook. Uh, for those of you that are on the Zoom, I got a special treat for you coming up after I stop the recording. But so long to everybody on Facebook.